Hi guys, so today I'm filming a haul video and um, it's just a mix of both fashion and beauty items so it's quite a jumbled, nice mixed up haul which I really like doing. There's quite a few things to show you, I've got like sportswear and then there's makeup and then there's skincare and then there's just like random clothes so um, yeah, it's like a nice mix. I've just kind of said that twice, I don't know why I did that. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe and yeah, let's get on to seeing the stuff. So I actually wanted to film this haul before now. Um, I actually did film it before now, but I refilmed it because I wasn't too happy with like the lighting. I'm still getting used to how to use studio lights and get like nice looking lighting. I feel like I look really oily now, like around my teeth and like my forehead here, even though it's super matte to like literally so mad <laughs> I've just like stuck lots of powder there just so it doesn't come off oily but it's still coming off oily so um it's still difficult like learning how to use the studio lights but I'll get there so I've actually worn a couple of the stuff like um this sports bra I hadn't worn it um when I showed it in the first haul it's one of the Nike sports bras um it looks like this it's just the black and white one because I really like I don't know the full black with the white tick I really like the kind of monochrome look of that. Everyone seems to be really kind of off about the sizing. I felt the same way I was, when I was buying as well. I kind of went on a whim. I was like, oh, I'm going to randomly choose the size. So I got this in an extra small and it does actually really fit perfectly. The only thing is it's a pain getting on like because I have like moderately broad shoulders. So the extra small like fits me like around here on my boobs and stuff. But at the same time it's really like there's no zip or anything obviously so it's really like I basically have to fit through this so it's really difficult getting on and I worry that I stretch it out a bit um, but other than that it fits really perfectly um, I actually got this from Depop I did get a brand new um, I've talked about Depop a couple of times it's basically just um, an app where people sell and buy things a lot of stuff on, stuff on Depop is like completely brand new like this was it came with the tags and everything so yeah that's really nice and it keeps the ladies in there. I've been going to the gym recently. That's why I bought this, by the way. And I also got gym leggings um, on the fitness thing. If you want to uh, see my default check out, um, I'll have it on the screen, by the way. I do um, like sell stuff, have stuff on there now. So I'm going to use that as a little plug <laughs> if you want to check out my Depop. And these are the leggings I got. Um, these aren't Nike or anything. These are like a random brand. I think they're, I got them from Costco. Just plain black leggings. And I love the blue band here. It's like got this yeah little blue stripey band and um, they're actually supposed to be cropped like three quarter length they are actually three quarter length leggings but because I'm so short they actually fit me kind of like just above the ankle they're kind of like ankle grazers which is so bad it shows how short I am but whatever it also has like a zip in the back as well which is really nice my phone like just about fits in there so yeah Costco for leggings. Got one thing from Topshop. I know I did a Topshop haul kind of recently. That haul had already like been filmed and stuff. This was such a like impromptu kind of thing. I was just looking through the sale. I just saw like size six and I was like, it looks nice. It's my size, I'll get it. <laughs> Which is a really bad way of spending, but I do actually really like it. I love the print. It's like this kind of darker floral print. Almost looks like tapestry. It's really, really nice. Blue makes, makes my camera go crazy. Like the lighting, even with studio lights, makes it almost worse, I think. Um, but yeah, it's just one of these, you know, tight at the front. They're really popular recently. The ones you you lace up at the front here and it's just um, short sleeve as well. I placed an order on New Look and I bought a bunch of lingerie, but I'm not going to show all that. I know on my top shop haul, I was mentioning how I feel like showing lingerie is such a big deal, but I don't personally see it that way. But that's not why I'm not sharing it. I literally just feel like there's too much of it and it's just going to be really boring. So um, I'll just show you these pyjamas I bought. I love these. I've worn this a couple of times as well. It's basically pyjamas, but like a play suit. And it looks like this. It's so, so nice. It's got like this gorgeous like lace trim around the kind of, like here, like bust area. And then um, also on the bottom of the shorts as well. It's so nice. I think this fits amazingly. Basically, it looks really hot. Um, I didn't even realise it was going to be like quite saucy looking. Like I just thought, PJ play suits, that sounds like a good idea. It just sounded like a cute idea. And then I realised they actually look really, looks really fancy. Like basically, if you're trying to jazz up your pyjama routine, this is the way to go. Bradley's just barking the house down, seriously. Next from New Look, I got two shoes. Oh my God, I'm trying to get rid of shoes. But like, I've gotten like five new shoes in the last month. <laughs> I was torn between them at first. I thought like, I originally ordered this with the stuff and then I went into the store and saw these. And I was originally gonna like, choose between them and send them back. But then my mum was like, my these are way too different. I feel like at least 
even though I'm get, I've got a lot of shoes now, at least I'm getting rid of shoes like that I know I don't wear. And I'm getting shoes that I know I wear. Like, I love these style of shoes. I really wanted, like, slip-on kind of shoes, like slip-on and go shoes, which I really don't have. And these are really nice. They're kind of like um, a suede material, um, black, and then got this little buckle detail here. And these ones are a bit more structured, a bit more, like, you know, dressy uppy. And I love how it's slightly pointy. Like, I'm not always for very, like, pointy shoes. But I feel like these are pointy in a really nice way. They really, really, really suit my feet. And they're not so pointy that they look weird and, like, make your feet really long and weird looking. Okay. I'm going to move on to, like, beauty kind of stuff. And I thought I'd start off with almost, like, actual uh, makeup stuff. And the first one is this LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. Everyone has raved about this, like, so, so much. I got this in the shade Toffee because um, I really wanted to try it out. Everyone goes on about how it's an amazing concealer, especially for under the eyes. And it's actually what I've got under my eyes today. I do actually really like it. I love the co um, the coverage it gives and also the, what's the word I'm looking for, texture of it is really nice. The consistency. And I think it does quite good at brightening. Let me know what you think. The next thing I got um, is this two pack of Real Techniques. Um, what are they? The complexion. Miracle Complexion sponges. I was amazed when I saw this two pack. I didn't know they did it in a two pack um, because the one I have now, I've thrown it out now. Even was it was so grubby, like so like even if you washed it, it was just beyond saving. Like because I'd used it so much, it was like ripping as well. Um, so when I went into Superdrug, I saw this and they had it in the two pack, and it was an amazing deal. It was like six pound sixty six. And these are five ninety nine each anyway. Like when you buy the pack of one, so I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna get the. Um, two pack and then when I went to the till the lady um, was telling me that I had like one pound on my super drug card I literally never go into super drug. I feel like you're either like a super drug person or a boots person And I always for some reason go into boots. This came down to five pound sixty six Which is cheaper than just one. I just love these like For blending and foundation concealer. They are absolutely amazing. I never use the like beauty blender the proper one so I can't say like you know it's better than the beauty blender or it's like a dupe for the beauty blender but obviously lots of people do say that and um, I don't fancy shelling out £20 on a sponge anyway I think these will do me fine for now. Next I got a new moisturiser which is the Simple Kind to Skin Protecting SPF 15 moisturiser and um, I got this because I ran out of my Clinique dramatically different moisturising gel yeah recently this is probably like my third time or fourth time like repurchasing it it's one of those moisturisers I always go back to like I always want to try out a new moisturiser I'm looking for like that boom moisturiser and then I always end up going back to this because the Clinique one is ridiculously expensive it's about £30 I know it's not like one of the most expensive moisturisers but it's pretty expensive I tried that out and um, even though it was quite expensive like I said I didn't actually think it was that good I think it's kind of overrated personally like it was a good moisturiser but I wouldn't say for £30 like I actually prefer this and this is like £4 or £5 from Boots and it's mostly always like almost always on offer anyway so you usually get it cheaper than that. It's like moisturising but at the same time it doesn't make you oily whereas the Clinique one just it kind of made my skin feel tight. It was alright basically I think it was alright um I wouldn't say I wouldn't use it again like it was good to use but not whereby I could get this which I prefer which is cheaper anyway and I do enjoy the fact that it has SPF I'm really trying to get into using SPF for my skin. I've got a couple of body moisturizers here as well um these are both from Garnier I think um they were doing like a little sale on Garnier body moisturizers and um, I ran out of my body moisturiser basically and I just wanted to try these out. First one is the Body Repair Anti Dryness Restoring Lotion and this is the Maple Sap Formula. Um, it's really, really nice. This is the one I'm kind of using currently. It's really, really nice. Um, I love how it's really moisturising for your skin but also sinks in really nicely so it doesn't leave like your skin feeling really greasy and like you feel really hot and sweaty. Um, so I'm really excited to keep going but I do hit myself in the face I do really really love it so far and um, the next one is the Garnier intensive seven days ultra replenishing lotion they're both for like very dry skin by the way because I have super dry like body skin um, and this is the shea butter formula um, again um, I haven't really used this but I kind of tried it and they seem to have like similar textures um, but yeah they're both small like baby wipes they've got quite a refreshing smell even though this is shea butter and this was maple I thought they'd have those kind of smells but no, they smell like baby wipes, um, which isn't bad or anything. Finally, I bought two of these um, Neutrogena Visibly Clear like face washes. This is the one I use like all the time standard anyway. Um, it's the Pour and Shine Daily Wash with 
Tangerine and Lime Express to mattify your skin and unclog pores. And this is the one I use all the time. This was just a repurchase. Um, but they were doing, this is £4.70, and then Boots were doing Neutrogena Invisibly Clear 2 for £5, so you paid an extra 30p to get two things. So I thought I'd get the Pink Grapefruit Facial Wash anyway, um, because I wanted to try it out. I've heard lots about this. This is supposed to help eliminate spots and blackheads. Um, even though I don't get very spotty, it's still like supposed to be really good for your skin anyway, and it smells amazing. Mm. Yeah, I just want to try a thought um, after I've used this up, I can just try it out. That is everything for this haul. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe guys, um, that would be awesome. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye! Again, like I'm quite self-conscious about my bum. Um, it looks like this, it's just kind of got this like little crop top underneath here.